Hi there guys, it's Eastwood for Life Fan here, back with another update. And uh, yeah, taking a little bit of time out from YouTube. So this video is actually going to be a May, June and July movie pickups update of uh, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays and some 4K releases. So I'll try to make it as brief as I can uh, because it's a fair stack for, for the last three months. Uh, also in this video we're going to be shouting out a couple of channels that I'm hoping you guys will uh, have a look and subscribe to these new guys in our movie collecting community. So let's get to the uh, purchases or the pickups for the last three months. Hope you enjoy. So to the update which is movie pickups update for three months worth of uh, May, June June and July. Uh, DVDs, Blu-rays and 4K titles that will be shown in this update. As well as two shout outs to two new guys in our YouTube movie collecting community. Uh, please go over and check their channels channels out. Uh, the first one goes to uh, a guy um, from the northern part of the UK, Sammy G's World of Cinema. Real nice guy in our community. Uh, please go over and check his channel out and show some support. Now, Sammy is approaching the 300 sub mark. I think he's around about the 270 odd. Um, but... Let's push him over the 300 because he's a real nice guy and he really deserves to be past the 300 sub mark for the great work he's put into his channel. Uh, I think he's only joined YouTube this year. Um, does movie reviews. I enjoyed his Planet of the Apes movie reviews. And currently showing his Arrow video collection. And he's a huge vinyl collector. So yeah, go and check his channel out. Real nice guy. Uh, description uh, channel link it will be in the uh, description box down below Sammy G's world of cinema uh, that will be shouting out another channel a little bit later in this update but the um, first seven movies are Kevin Costner movies uh, the first four are DVDs this one I've seen many many years ago from the late 1980s Bull Durham um, kind of like a romantic uh, sports comedy with uh, Susan Sarandon and also Tim Robbins. Now, I do remember enjoying this movie, but picked this one up very cheap on DVD with the possibilities of uh, getting a Blu-ray release. Uh, the next movie is Tin Cup, one that I was familiar with in the mid-1990s, uh, kind of like a romantic sports uh, golfing movie where Kevin Costner plays kind of like a golfing, a golfing coach and he enters uh, the uh, US Open and he goes up against uh, Don Johnson. First time watch for me this one and I actually enjoyed this one, really good one and he kind of uh, battles for the affection of uh, the affections of Rene Russo, Tin Cup much underrated. Uh, the next Kevin Costner movie is kind of a more of a uh, more modern one. Um, I think the early 2005, six. This one's The Guardian, where it's kind of like an action drama. And picked this one up for about a pound. Never seen this one before. And also this one, Molly's Game, which Kevin Costner is in this one. Kind of more of a su supporting actor. Also, Britain's uh, Idris Elba. I do remember watching half of this. I'm sure it was a streaming service. And I quite enjoyed this one, but never got around to finishing uh, watching this movie. But yeah, all these four DVDs were very, very cheap. Um, on to the Blu-rays, um, and this one, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, uh, the action romantic uh, blockbuster, which earned uh, just under $400 million uh, with Morgan Freeman and also uh, Christian Slater and Alan Rickman. Now, this one I've never, ever seen because I was always kind of annoyed 
with the uh, the main theme of this by Brian Adams, uh, which really really put me off because it had been kind of like the number one UK single for at least three months or maybe even longer. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be brave and watch this. I know there is an Arrow 4K release, but this basic Blu-ray release is is good enough for me. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and I'm hearing that Kevin Costner has a uh, not so good British accent as Robin Hood. And this one from the mid 1990s, uh, kind of drama movie. Uh, I remember watching this back in the 90s, and quite an underrated one. This movie did actually flopped quite bad uh, the war with a young Elijah Wood and there's no UK release of this on Blu-ray uh, the US version is pretty pricey but I picked up a Scandinavian copy of this which was under I think it was just under 10 or 12 pounds but I remember this one being kind of underrated the war and the next movie and last Kevin Costa movie is the postman which he directed um it's kind of like a it's a three hour epic of a kind of uh post apocalyptic um adventure drama set in the future and even though he did get panned um i i remember enjoying this one um i didn't think it was as bad as what the critics have said but um We'll see if it's uh, if it holds up nowadays. The Postman. The next movie is the uh, the Tin Star, a Michael uh, a Anthony Mann a western from the late nineteen fifties, starring Henry Fonda, Anthony Perkins, and a young Betsy Palmer. Did do an unboxing of. This one, because this is a US Arrow video release, fine Western from Anthony Mann. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this one. This just doesn't really get talked about a whole lot. But yeah, check out that unboxing. It's still on the channel, the Tin Star. And a comedy Western uh, from Mel Brooks, which... Uh, we done a review on the uh, Westerns for Life uh, podcast episode, which is uh, it will be uh, uploaded uh, fairly soon. But this one from Mel Brooks, um, yes, yeah, a classic one. But um, in my honest opinion, I thought it was okay. I prefer Gene Wilder in his movies with Richard Pryor, like Stir Crazy. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, for me, this one was always overrated. It's enjoyable. Um, is it a racist movie? Well, it, it has, it takes the mick at racism, but, um, yeah, not one of my favorite, uh, Gene Wilder movies and, uh, never was really a fan of Mel Brooks. The next one is the, uh, Deadwood uh, the movie, which kind of wraps up the series, which they made this one uh, years later. This was sent to us by Mike's DVD and Blu-ray collection in a uh, trade package. Ian McShane there. And a couple of um, 88 Films releases. Uh, this one, Hanny Calder. A western from the early 1970s and this is the uh, new uh, range the Tygon um, label from 88 films uh, Raquel Welsh she plays Hanny Calder who uh, as her husband gets murdered and then she gets raped and then she goes after a um, kind of uh, an outlaw gang who are brothers uh, yeah pretty good western this one uh, I did have the uh, US Olive Films release, but this one very surprised to see this one get the treatment from 88 Films, and it does have a very good cast with Strofer Martin, Jack Elam, Western regulars, and Christopher Lee actually in a Western, as well as Diana Dawes, um, Ernest Borgnine, and Robert Culp. 
and you do get a booklet with this. Yeah, fine release. Uh, Raquel Welsh did make a few other westerns like 100 Rifles and Bandolero. But this one, enjoyable one. Uh, this one would actually make a very good and violent uh, remake, Handy Colder. Two Roger Moore 88 film releases. Uh, we have uh, Gold from um, 1974, where, if I can remember Roger Moore, he plays like a, a general manager at this uh, plant where they kind of flood they they flood the, they flood the plant and uh expecting the price of gold to rise um yeah Susanna York this one's direct is also in it as this one's directed by Peter Hunt who made the Charles Bronson movie with Lee Marvin Death Hunt gold and this does come with a slip cover And the other Roger Moore movie is Shout at the Devil with Lee Marvin. It's been many years since I've watched this one. You do get alternative artwork and you do get a booklet. Yeah, two Roger Moore movies getting the special treatment releases from 88 films. The uh, next four releases are actually blind buys, which I tend not to get. Uh, the first two movies are Jimmy Wang Yu martial art movies. Now, I've enjoyed watching uh, quite a few of Jimmy Wang Yu's uh Action movies, The Chinese Boxer, One-Armed Boxer, and The Man from Hong Kong. Uh, this one is Beach of the War Gods, uh, early 1970s one. From This is a Eureka release. Uh, this one's kind of more of an epic uh, it's kind of a war movie or battle movie. Uh, but Jimmy Wang Yu, who was kind of like the first Asian uh, martial arts movie star before Bruce Lee, the Chinese actor who died a couple of years ago. But um, guys, if you are familiar with this one, Beach of the War Gods. And I think there is a, uh, another release from 88 uh, Eureka, I should say, with Jimmy Wang Yu. And this one does come with Quite a few features as well. And this one is from 88 Films, The Killer Meteors. Uh, this one was from the uh, 19, late 1970s, one I haven't seen. Um, got this one because you do have Jackie Chan and Jimmy Wang Yu in this movie. Um, Jimmy Wang Yu's career was kind of taking a bit of a dive in the late 70s and obviously Jackie Chan's career was kind of rising. And actually Jackie Chan plays the villain in this movie but another 88 films release and you do get the booklet. 88 films always do great work with the martial art movies as well as uh, Eureka. Never heard of this one, um, but I know this one is not well-received movies from the career of Jimmy Wang Yu and Jackie Chan. The next two releases are releases that I've never... Picked up from this company, uh, Radiance Films, and uh, Franco Nero, one of my favourite Italian actors who made many great spaghetti westerns. And Radiance Films, they've done this box set of the uh, Cosa Nostra 
um, Italian mafia movie set where you get free movies. And all three of these movies are directed by Damiano Damiani, who directed the uh, very good Spaghetti Western Bullet for the general. So we'll have a quick look at these movies. I'll get these movies out. The first movie is a 1968 movie and it is known as The Day of the Owl. Claudia Cardinal, Franco Nero and Lee J. Cobb. And it's also known as Mafia and they do give you a choice of uh, an Italian cover or a British Tex cover. I've always known this movie as Mafia. Uh, the next movie is The Case is Closed, Forget It. And the Radiance Films, they normally do foreign movies, mainly European The last one from the set is How to Kill a Judge. All three movies with Franco Nero. And you do get the booklet. Three Mafia Tales. Franco Nero, who is still with us. Lots of info about these three movies. DJ Cobb there. And none of these movies I have seen. And this set is actually limited to 5,000 copies, which will be shortly out of print, I'm pretty sure, on some sites it's sold out but yeah you get free mafia movies with uh franco nero starring uh damiano damiani and the other radiance films release is another italian mafia tale the iron prefect from the late 1970s starring giuliano Gemma, another italian actor who made Many good spaghetti westerns, and this is also a limited edition, limited to 2,000 copies with the booklet. And the last Blu ray on this uh, update is Alien Covenant, which actually I have not seen. I wanted to pick this one up. We do have the new Alien movie coming out this month. Uh, had seen the first three Alien movies in the cinema and also Prometheus as well. And uh, overall, I always enjoy every one of the uh, Alien movies. On to the 4Ks now. This one I did do an unboxing of, the 55th anniversary edition of Once Upon a Time in the West. I did do an unboxing of this release, classic Spaghetti Western, one of the greatest movies ever made in my opinion, directed by Sergio Leone. Um, some US releases now. This one from Kino Lorber. Uh, Paint Your Wagon, um, never had a Blu-ray release, uh, only ever had a DVD release, so I wanted to pick this one up for the Clint Eastwood collection. Uh, yeah, Paint Your Wagon. Um, it's not one of uh, the best westerns Clint Eastwood has been in, but overall it's kind of like a comedy musical western, this one, where two buddies... They kind of marry the same, <laughs> they marry the same wife, the same woman, and they live in this kind of uh, new rising uh, Californian uh, gold rush mining town. 
and this is from Kino Lorber, and you do get the Blu-ray and 4K in this release. Now, but overall, I didn't mind this one. Lee Marvin is quite funny, but not your usual role for Clint Eastwood. Next three are Scream Factory releases, which I wanted to upgrade these movies because I do love these movies. Uh, Slasher cla Classic from the early 1980s, uh, My Bloody Valentine. And this you get, this is the, the collector's edition where you get the 4K and the Blu-ray. Uh, just a shame that the uh, slip cover and the Amory cover are the same. But yeah, great slasher movie this where a killer goes on a killing spree on Valentine's Day. One of my favourite David Cronenberg movies, also starring Christopher Walken. And this one from the early 1980s, where Christopher Walken, uh, he plays a school teacher who wakes up from a car accident. Uh, he has, he's been in a coma, and then he realises that he has these kind of psychic powers, and which kind of, he can foresee kind of the future in upcoming events and again this one a lazy um, release could have had a collector's uh, slip cover but yeah one of my favorite Christopher Walken movie uh, you also get the likes of uh, Martin Sheen in this movie and they did do a TV series uh, the next movie, one of my favourite Stephen King movies made into a movie. This one's Silver Bullet. Um, this werewolf movie, I've grown to love and enjoy a whole lot more. Uh, I love the small town uh, setting to this movie. Where there's a set of murders in this small town. And this uh, young boy in this uh, wheelchair... He gets the idea that it's a werewolf that is doing all the killings. Silver Bullet, 4K and Blu-ray Collector's Edition. And shout out number two goes to Mike, formerly known as USR1 Retro, but he's now renamed his channel as The Other Retro Guy, uh, Mike. And... Uh, yeah, go check Mike's channel out. Real nice guy in our movie collecting community. Uh, he's He's got a kind of movie and gaming channel, uh, as well as kind of retro um, sort of content. And he's just started doing live streams on his channel, which myself appeared with Scott the Movie Critic and, Dan's, uh, and Dan and uh, Jeff. We all appeared on that a couple of months ago. So please check... Mike's channel out, uh, that other retro guy, uh, real nice guy. So these next three movies are James Cameron movies, which I'm pretty sure you guys would have picked up. And uh, the first one being Aliens, James Cameron movie, uh, which I always preferred this one. This was kind of more of an action movie compared to the first uh, Alien movie. Directed by Ridley Scott, which is more horror based. But yeah, Sigourney Weaver returns as Ripley. And the next uh, James Cameron movie is The Abyss, which actually Mike, that other retro guy, picked up for us. Uh, this was going to get a uh, UK release, but because of the, uh, the animal scene, uh, they stopped that release being released in the UK, but obviously in America, the rules of animal cruelty doesn't apply. But yeah, this one, uh, long time uh, coming. Uh, we never had a Blu-ray release of The Abyss, also starring Ed Harris and Michael Bean. Um, yeah, great effects in this one, and it's been a long time since I've seen this uh, movie. The Abyss. So many thanks for Mike for picking this one up in the US while, while he was over there. And the last 
James Cameron movie. One of my probably my favourite um, James Cameron movie. Um, True Lies, yeah, one of my favourite Arnie ones, uh, as well as Terminator, Terminator Two. But yeah, this one, Arnie plays Harry Tasker, who leads a double life of a secret agent, and some nuclear weapons go missing, and he goes after the uh, terrorist group, the terrorist group, and also starring the beautiful Jamie Lee Curtis as his wife. So yeah, another movie that's been long waiting for a blu-ray an official blu-ray release and 4k so yeah and you get the bonus features as well great movie the last american release is actually from vinegar syndrome which i don't purchase a lot but this one i could not wait for and this is the 4k collector's release of chuck norris in Invasion USA, which is one of my favourite canon movies. This and a nice release from Vinegar Syndrome, where Chuck Norris he plays Matt Hunter, and there's the iconic poster. An army of mercenaries land in Florida, where their intention is to take over USA, and you do get the uh, Blu-ray as well. Yeah, great action movie, and you get a uh, great villain played by Richard Lynch, who plays Rostov. Yeah, we need some more 4K releases with Chuck Norris's movies. Always had a lot of fun with this movie. Yeah, so there's Invasion USA from Vinegar Syndrome. From 1985, and I do like that artwork of the mercenaries who land in the US. Yeah, it's kind of silly, violent action movie, but it's just so damn good to watch Chuck Norris as the one man army to save America. And from one martial artist to another. China O'Brien, Cynthia Rothrock. Now, I'm not a huge Cynthia Rothrock fan, and uh, a lot of her movies are finally getting released. But this one was my favourite from, from back in the day, uh, 1990. Uh, China O'Brien, and this gets a 4K release. And the movie was directed by Robert Klaus, who famously directed Bruce Lee's last two movies Enter the Dragon and Game of Death but yeah Cynthia Rothrock she definitely deserved to have started in more movies as a main lead she was kind of like uh, as a supporting or kind of like a little small role in movies uh, and she was very talented as a martial artist and I've, I've heard, I'm hearing that she's going to release a martial arts western uh, upcoming, Black Creek, which would be very interesting. And I think she's now in her early 60s and still looks very good and tidy. And the last pickup is the uh, 4K steelbook of The Crow. Starring Brandon Lee in his last movie in 1994 where he plays a uh, musician who on the eve of getting married with his uh, fiance, he uh, gets brutally murdered only for him to rise from the grave and return as kind of like a supernatural avenger. Uh, just a real shame that he passed away because he was kind of being built up as a uh, possible action star like his father Bruce Lee and a nice steel book you do not get the original artwork but you do get it in a poster 
Do we get free movie cards? I probably won't be bothering with the new Crow movie, if I'm honest. And you do get the poster, which is the one that I was always familiar with. And I didn't realise on the back of the cards you get a quote from the movie. So that is your 30th anniversary limited uh, 4K steelbook of the 1994 uh, movie of The Crow starring Brandon Lee. Guys, let me know if the uh, new movie interests you, you guys. So that is the update. Guys, please uh, do check out those channels that I mentioned. Uh, Sammy G's World of Cinema and that other retro guy mike uh, both channel links will be in the description box down below guys let me know what you think of all these movies and let us know what you've been watching take care till the next video this video was a movies pickups update of may uh, june and july a little bit late but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video till the next video take care and i'll see you all very soon Go ahead, make my day. <laughs>